Hey guys, welcome back to Maisel Molly. I'm Ash Molly, and today we're gonna do something a little bit more fun, a little bit different. We are headed to the farmer's market. So lately I've been kind of focusing on things that bring me like simple joy, simple pleasures, slowing down a bit and living in the moment, and going to the farmer's market definitely does that for me. I love to shop the local vendors and fruits and stalls. So I'm gonna take you guys there with me, and then we're gonna go back home and make some coffee. Let's go to the farmer's market. for why I really came, Vietnamese iced coffee, my favorite vendor at the farmer's market. So yeah guys, um, so the entire reason I actually came to the farmer's market was so that I could get Vietnamese iced coffee and I'm super excited because we're actually going to go home now and I'm going to show you guys how to make a good iced Vietnamese iced coffee. So here we go. So I wanted to give you guys a little tour around the spring coffee bar changes that I made. Um, I updated the pods in this little hanging basket so that they could look kind of like Easter eggs. And then you guys can see over here, I added this new um, kind of tiered tray um, for my honey. I got this little honey pot at uh, CB2. And then I got this really cute little egg bouquet at, I want to say Hobby Lobby. Added details, like you guys have seen this, the little jar with the bunny ears and a little egg um, bouquet. Threw some carrots on there, a bunny of course, you can't have Easter without a bunny, a little banner. And then on the side for Brie, we just added a happy Easter sign, a little bunny, um, what do you call those, dish rag. And I think the Easter spring bar is like ready. What do you guys think? <laughs> Alrighty guys, let's get into it. Let's make Vietnamese iced coffee. Super simple, very easy. All we need is four ingredients. Coffee beans, condensed milk, water, and ice.
Alrighty guys, so I was pretty committed to not wearing any makeup today, so. <laughs> but the Vietnamese iced coffee is finished. I haven't tried it yet. Gonna try it now. Interested to see if it turns out anything like the one from the farmer's market. So, taste test time. It actually tastes a lot like the one from the farmer's market. Hold on. Mmm. Same thing as I said about the one at the farmer's market. It's really bold. You can definitely still taste the coffee, but it's like creamy and sweet, and I really love that about it. Yeah, um, definitely a really great treat. Guys, thank you for stopping by Maisel Molly today. It was fun to go to the farmer's market with you, make Vietnamese iced coffee, and also show you guys the new spring coffee bar. Drop it in the comments down below. Let me know, are you gonna be updating your coffee bar for spring Easter? Are you gonna try making Vietnamese iced coffee? I'd love to know. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll see you guys next time.